and welcome to the Everyday Joy podcast. I'm your host, Ash Owen, and I cannot wait to find moments of joy with you today. I cannot wait to dive right into the Word of God. So make sure you've got your your notes, your Bible, and get ready to dive into the Word of God. Rest in God. Wait patiently for Him to act. Don't be envious of evil people who prosper. That's Psalm 37.7 from the TLB. Jackie, it is kind of at the point where uh, the pretty autumn vibes are about to go to the grave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've gone through the pretty phase. We're now just I like know. headed for cold. I know. I, yeah. we t- I talked about my really yeah. hopeless uh, living not at home story the other day. <laughs> so if you miss it, go back and listen. I think it was maybe a Monday or Tuesday, but I don't know about you, Jack, but I feel like, and I don't know if it's just now that I'm like an adult and like life feels so different, but I feel like time moves so fast. Like growing up, I would have people say to me, Ash, like you're growing up so quick. And I'd be like, oh, stop saying no, that. No, it's today. taking so long. Or they'd be like, oh, like enjoy like being in high school. Enjoy these times. And I'd be like, no, 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 no. I'm just like ready no, to Can't wait adult. to get out of here, right? I honestly feel like the moment that I stepped out of high school, I've been out of school for, wait, let me count. <laughs> Six years. Did you, how did you know that? Yeah. Your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> I was having to count on my hands. I was counting on my hands. I've been out of school for too long. <laughs> I had to count six years on my fingers. I can't do the maths. I've forgotten everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was not where that was meant to go. But I've been out of school for six years and it literally feels like it's been a year maximum. Like the time just feels... Jackie's lost it. The time just doesn't feel real. And I think that like, you know, I don't know. It's it's this weird thing that I've actually been taking to the Lord lately. Is like, yeah. what? Like, you know, there's that scripture that says like time is a vapor. Like your life is a vapor. Yeah. And I feel like that is such a reality for probably, and I, I'm assuming there's people who are listening who are, you know, maybe in their 60s, their 70s or older, and you just go, yep, life's yep. a vapor. Life's a vapor. And I think this verse that we're talking about today, rest in God, wait patiently for him to act. Don't be envious of evil people who prosper. There's so much that you can get out of this. If we break it down oh, into sections, so right, much. you go, rest in God. Mm-hmm. Life moves fast. We talked about it on Monday, like yeah. life life moves fast things change with within a split second life is different so learning to rest in god mm. to really find our security in him and i've been really finding that over this last season of going everything else can change everything else can fail can flop can go wrong but actually resting in him is the only thing that will ever be consistent right then we go okay well wait patiently for him to act i'm sorry pa 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 Patiently. I don't get it. I don't get it. (laughs) Wait patiently for him to act. I don't know. Like, this is just me. uh, What's the word? Dribbling on. But, like, I think that growing up in church, I grew up with a slightly unhealthy expectation of the way God would move in life. Yeah, because I believe, because I have faith, because I want things to happen. Yeah. And I'm a good person. Totally. And I do all the right things. Yeah that it's going to be like this. Yeah. And I think that the older I get, the more I have learned, it's actually a lot of it is about the waiting and the patience and the growing. And we talked about in, I think, in episode two days Mm -hmm. ago, we said it's the bending, the stretching, the the learning. The continual learning. Yeah. Yeah. The becoming a disciple of the Lord where it's like, okay, if I'm actually resting well in God, I can wait patiently. Mm -hmm. And then it says, don't be envious of envy of evil people who prosper. You know, sometimes I think even if we take out kind of the the evil word, I think so often when you look at your life, you compare it to other people. Yeah. You go, I serve you, Lord. I love you, Lord. I do all these things. Why is so-and-so thriving? Yeah. Like why are those who yeah. despise you, why are the ones who maybe aren't sacrificing as much as you feel like you are? Like why do they thrive? Why do they prosper? And I think so often I have to like check myself in and go, what is it actually about? 
Like, yeah. what is this whole life actually about? When we kind of get to the nitty gritty of it and we go, God, what is your purpose for me? What is your heart for me? His heart is that I would love him, that I would rest in him, that yeah. I would grow in my relationship with him. And learning to release those, we've talked about it all week, those expectations yeah. of what prospering looks like, not just uh, looking at people who maybe have what we want and actually allowing God to be that. I think that's where a lot of the shift has to happen because otherwise we, we will look at every other person and go, well, they have what I want, so how do I live this out in a healthy, godly, patient way? Yep, and at the risk of repeating exactly what I said yesterday, it's applying those things, it's applying goodness, it's applying patience, it's applying love for others that makes that weight okay and that actually also fulfills what God has for us yeah. in that in that process and in that moment. Yeah. I literally couldn't articulate that better. Jack, when you kind of reflect on your life, have has this verse kind of come alive? Is there a moment where you've kind of had to rest in God, wait patiently or or you've had a moment of being like God help me to to not uh, be envious, I guess, of seeing what other people are doing or or, or receiving? Oh, um, like absolutely, because I started off, um, oh, you know, and I had a career and then I had kids and then I took time off because I had to look after an unwell child and going back to the workforce in the, in that season was honestly so what to me at the time it felt really humiliating because I had growing up thought, I was going to be this by the time I was 30. I was going to have this. I was going to be so far in my career by the time I was 30. By the time I was 40, I'd be running this and that and the other. And it's so not what has happened. Um, and I had to be patient in what God was doing. Yeah. Even still to this day, it doesn't look like what I want it to look like and what I continued to pray for and believe for. It doesn't look like it. But the growth, the sanctification of becoming more and more like Christ, hopefully, that, you know, that I've been on the journey of, invaluable. Yeah. What I've been able to do for my kids in that time, how we've been able to serve and grow up and be in our local church, absolutely invaluable. Would I change it? Not a little bit. Do I still want different? Absolutely. Do I still pray for more? Absolutely. And for someone like me who, for whom patience is their least favourite word. <laughs> You're like, I ain't eating that fruit. <laughs> not uh, this week. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like I remember my daughter, like just a quick story, even when she was like, 10, 11, 12, and, you know, they're learning. They, You know, you go to kids' church and you're like, you learn that song about the fruits of the yes. spirit. I don't know it. Didn't grow up in church. She knows it. And she would turn to me and go, yeah, patience is a virtue, mum. <laughs> like, patience is a fruit of the spirit. And I'd be like, <laughs> You're like, Lord, why have you done this to right? me? <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, it's one of those, it's an ongoing thing. And mm. this, we were talking about this the other day. It's part of the race. It's part of the overall journey. He has a great plan. Yeah. Rest in that. Rest in the knowledge that you are a son or a daughter of the Most High God and He wants nothing but goodness for you. If you've got anything out of today's episode, why don't you go and give us a five-star written review over on our Apple Podcast or over on Spotify. That way, even more people can find out about your everyday joy. I cannot wait to dive even deeper into the Word of God with you tomorrow. But until then, I pray you're able to find moments of joy.